Time for Inside Out with our NFL insider, Ralph Vacchiano. And Ralph, shockingly, the Giants give Galladay the $18 million a year that he was looking for. How were the Giants able to get the deal done? And what does Galladay bring to that offense? Well, they were motivated to get it done, and so was Kenny Galladay. Uh, they get, there was a late push from the Chicago Bears, and honestly, as I was hearing that earlier in the day, I did not think the Giants were going to go to what Kenny Galladay's asking price was. I just didn't think they had the cap room or the willingness to do it, but they knew that they needed to get a receiver like this. So they stepped up. They had a big offer. We haven't seen all the details yet, but it is, you know, $40 million guaranteed is pretty huge, even for four years. They knew they needed a receiver who is big. He's 6'4". You can have a, a smaller, explosive receiver, but those big guys who can catch, who can make big plays are increasingly rare. Uh, they're a big help for a young quarterback. And you know, the Giants haven't had a number one receiver since they traded Odell Beckham. So getting a guy like Kenny Galladay changes a lot of their offense. You talked about how it's a big help for a young quarterback. So how important is this move for the development of Daniel Jones? You know, when the Giants looked at Daniel Jones over the last couple of years, they really believed in him and his ability and preparation and all of that. But their conclusion was he was not surrounded by enough weapons. And you know, obviously losing Saquon Barkley was big. And there were some issues with Evan Ingram's hands. But they didn't have that number one receiver, that reliable guy who he could just dump the ball to and watch him make a play. And that's incredibly big. Just look at last year, what the addition of Stephon Diggs did for Josh Allen up in Buffalo. Go back a decade or more and look at what Plaxico Burris's arrival did for Eli Manning. When a quarterback gets that one guy who can rely on, who's a playmaker, it can really change his outlook on his career, the, the trajectory of his career. And it's a big year for Daniel Jones. He needs that going into year three. Yeah, a lot of eyes will be on him, on him for year three to see how he develops. And how would you grade the Giants offseason so far, Ralph? Yeah, a, a good offseason so far. It's much better with Kenny Galladay. If you look at what they had done before this, you wouldn't have been all that impressed. You might have said a C plus, B minus. It was a lot of inexpensive role players. But getting the big guy that they needed, this was the number one need heading into free agency to get that number one receiver. You pair that with the fact that they spent all that money to retain Leonard Williams. I know that was going to happen anyway, but it still counts that they did that with his contract. You get the big pass rusher, the big receiver, and a little bit of role players. They still have some other needs. I would have liked to have seen them help out the offensive line, but overall, I'd probably give it a B plus.